Hi, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a Iron Bull 7x20 foot, 14,000 pound TLB. This is a tilt bumper pull series trailer. This has the power tilt option and a few other add-ons we'll show you here in a second. Uh, up front you can see the optional winch plate and hydraulic jack. Those are some of the main options added to this particular unit. So let's take a walk around it and we'll show you all the standard features as well. Starting out up front, we've got a six hole adjustable coupler. Notice it's a cast coupler. If you've never had a cast coupler, a little bit heavier duty. Again, you've got a few different coupler height options, I believe four in total. You've got your safety chain with an integrated holder, which is nice. It's got a seven pin RV style blade plug. It's got a 12,000 pound Steelwell hydraulic jack, tri or hydraulic jack, and this particular unit, one of the nice features on it, there is no diverter valve. So some manufacturers choose to go with a two solenoid, and then you've got to switch a lever. This is a four solenoid, so there is no messing around with a lever. Uh, that basically means you've got a four button remote. You've got up and down on the jack with one. And then you've got hydraulic on the trailer for the other. Pretty slick setup. So again, this has the optional power tilt, and then it's got the optional hydraulic jack. So in the toolbox itself, you've got an interstate deep cycle marine battery. It's a group 24 size. Notice the uh, terminal cover there, nice little add. It's got the 110 volt charger on the box, and then it's got the KTI pump. Again, power up, power down, four solenoid lockable with keys in the back of the box. Another little detail to give you a spot where a jack can actually be switched back and forth. Now, on the hydraulic, I uh, doubt you're gonna wanna switch that unless you're really desperate for a different jack location. Uh, so again, we have them mounted up front in the hydraulic setup. Six inch channel tongue, six inch channel frame as would be typical in the industry on a 14K trailer. One thing kinda neat here, what they've done, they've nestled the frame inside uh, your fabricated part so your fenders are gonna match up uh, with the fab part you're gonna get a full width loading it's gonna have about 83 inches fender to fender that's an impressive feat because this unit also has torsion suspension normally torsion you're gonna use a lose a few inches of width but on this uh, you're still gonna have full width loading so on torsion you'll notice there is no spring hanger in between if you're not familiar, you can do a little bit of Google searching online. Can't get you a bit too good of a shot here. But the uh, suspension components are all going to be contained within the axle tube itself. Uh, very smooth setup. Um, this unit does have that torsion upgrade. You also notice on this particular unit, lots of tie downs. You got your stake pocket, chain spools, rub rail, and D rings. Lots of places to tie down. Uh, a lot in the industry are going to give you maybe two of those, not all four. Also notice this has the optional winch plate we put on, on the full deck tilts where you've already got a battery on board. Uh, just very convenient. You can pretty much winch and load anything you want. Another thing we like on the trailer, they do a nice uh, fender gusset. A lot of manufacturers, if they do a removal fender, they'll do one bolt. This one's got a bolt on either side, keeps it from rocking. Uh, just makes it that much stronger. Some folks say, why removable fender? Why do I need that? Yeah, some do, some don't. If you ever wanna haul a car on this, it's certainly nice. A trailer with straight axles, like a car trailer, is gonna have about a nine inch fender reveal. On one like this, where it's got the torsional equivalent to a drop axle, you end up with a taller fender, about 12 to 13 inches. Being able to remove that fender sure makes it nice if you wanna load a car. Uh, you can get mm, some cars on without taking a fender off, but any low car, you're probably gonna have to pull the fender off. So again, removable fenders on both sides. This unit does have Dexter torsion axles, 7,000 pound rated. It's got the new never adjust brakes and also the easy loop hubs. The brakes forward adjust just like a car. So uh, they would, um, they would um, adjust all the way through the life of the pad. No need to, to uh, service or adjust. You certainly could have it serviced to check them. And then, uh, Easy, easy loop hubs are basically the modern day version of the uh, bearing buddy. Basically, it just makes it super easy to service. About once a year, you're supposed to hit it with grease. Uh, just look for the old grease inside to come out. Whenever it does, you need to stop. Otherwise, you'll push the inner axle seal out. 
and get grease on your brakes, which does not help you stop. Tires on this at 235.80 R16 10 ply, load range E. Let's move into the back. It's got a knife edge. Knife edge on this is about three feet. Uh, this is one uh, model or type of trailer that's a little tricky. Most in the industry do not count all or some of the knife edge. Normally, if you see a longer knife edge like this one, about three foot, they're going to count roughly two foot. You end up with about one foot of extra length. 20 foot quickly turns into about a 21 foot deck. Other manufacturers put a shorter, say, 18 inch knife edge on. Normally, in that case, they don't count any. So just uh, maybe a question to ask if you're looking at uh, power tilts out there, if you're real curious about the actual deck length, because normally this is one trailer where that does not match up. Banjo eyes for additional uh, tie downs. You can use chain uh, on those. Uh, this is a full knife edge too. There's no center slot. You got full width loading all the way. Pretty slick setup with your marker lights there in the center and then your stop turn tails on the outside. This trailer's gonna load at roughly an 11 degree load angle. Certainly very smooth load angle. But then also with only one break in the plane right here and that's knife edge down to where there's virtually zero transition. Uh, without a second break in the plane like a traditional beaver tail trailer where you would have your bottom of your ramp angle and then your beaver tail break, you can actually load lower equipment. It's hard to put that uh, second break in perspective of angle, but normally it equates to about two degrees better. So an 11 degree on this would almost load like a, a traditional car hauler setup in say a nine degree angle. So it's some pretty low equipment on this particular unit. So this unit is powder coated, all LED lights, sealed wiring harness. Lots of standard features. It does come in other sizes. This is a seven by 20. You can also get it in a 22 foot. Also comes in a power, uh, power gooseneck as well. And we also stock it in a gravity bumper pull. 16 inch on center cross members. Uh, you got your hydraulic up, hydraulic down. You got your outriggers going out to the frame. is available also with optional 8,000 pound axles can also get it with 5,200 pound as well 7,000 pound axles shown here is the most common do keep other wheels as well aluminum wheels in stock sometimes we got white or black wheels as well if you want to give it a little bit different look black is the only standard color well the only color period uh, with iron bull currently on this if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a ring at 717-220 4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.